Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. How y'all doing? So today I'm going to be showing you a little bit about my new bot that I've just built. Yeah, let's get straight into it and show you all, all the new features that I have added. So as you can see here, I've just copied my server basically and put the bot in it just so I can show you a little bit what I've done. So we're going to put the role into bots at the top. It doesn't change it into like showing it that it's in that role and for that, I would need to put it into bots like so. So to use this bot, you're going to need to have administration rights. So if you go to server settings, if you have a server owner, you'll be able to do this anyway. But if you want your admins to maybe set it up, so if we click into admins permissions, they would need to have this right here at the bottom. Do read a little bit here. If you are new to discords, it can be dangerous to add this permission but it's pretty okay if you trust your admins. If you don't trust your admins, don't make them admins. Simple. So guys, the first thing we are going to look at is the set welcome. So when someone new comes into your server, you are going to welcome them in. So we do welcome and then we pick a channel. So I'm going to go for new people like so. And then if someone new comes in, they'll be, well, the name will get chucked out into this channel. Discord does already do this but you just turn off the generic discord one like so and then the bot will take over and do its own so following on from that we've got slash auto roll so if we set auto roll i really like this feature i use it all the time on enemy discords so this is going to auto roll them to a base roll of your choosing like so set up auto roll done now we're going to do the set members, which is this right here. It's going to output how many members you've got in your server. So if we do set counter, oh, set member counter and choose the channel, it outputs it to members too. Now, another nice little feature that we've added is set, oh, wrong, flash, set YouTube notifications. So let's find a promote, promote content. And then you grab their user ID. Give me a second. I'll show you how. So if we bring up your YouTube channel, this is mine, obviously. If we press on this little arrow here and scroll down to the bottom and share channel, we want to copy channel idea ID like so. And then we're going to paste that into there. Mention here. Do you know how everybody has mentioned at everyone? I hate that idea completely because it pings you even if you're offline. Nah, if I'm if I'm offline, let me be. But this one, it mentions at here. So this will only mention, it'll only ping you if you're actually online and you're available. So this is the one I use. And this is why I've added it just into the bot, like so. Now, every time someone posts a YouTube video, they will see something looking a little bit like this. And it will post here, well, like this, at here. New video from Arcade. Go and check him out. He's a really good guy. We've also got the Twitch in there. So if we go back to our test server and go slash Twitch. No, set Twitch. We type in the channel. We decide which Discord channel we want. And do we want to mention it here? True. And sweet, it's done. And it will obviously look something a little bit like this. Arcade's already messaging me. I'm busy at the moment, mate. I'll be five seconds probably a little bit longer so also what else we've got in the bot is if we type a few messages there we go we've got a leveling system but it's not just a leveling system it's a leveling system with coins now in the future i am looking to add more games and stuff that you can do but we've got a coin lb so you the last 10 people will show up in that leaderboard, I think it is. I've got 452 coins just by typing. So it encourages people to type in your Discord. And same if we do leaderboard level 2. But if you just want to check your own level, we can do that also, like so. And if you wanted to check your balance, you can do that also. So what games have we got at the minute? We've got Blackjack. It's the easiest game to code into it. So that's why. I so if we do 200 and press hit and stand, it's a tie. Damn. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. So what else have we got on the bot at the moment? Oh, we've got a ticket system. 
So if you do slash ticket, it's going to create a ticket up here with you and the admins only. So the person who's made the ticket and the admins. And then when you've done using this ticket, we just do the simple close ticket. And then after about 10 seconds or so, it will come back and say, it'll actually just delete itself like so. So now you will see a few other different things in here, like create streaming role and exclude streaming users. So what this is going to do in the future, it's not working quite as I want it just yet, but let's try it. Slash create streaming role. There were an error. Yes, I know it wouldn't work. I knew myself, but actually with the error that it's just spitted out at me, I know what it is and I can get that one fixing straight away. But let's show you what it would do so if we do slash set streaming role and we set this to live now it set that role up to live now as you can see every time you do add this bot in it to everybody who you add into it it'll just update the database the first time to post whoever's video it was last if that makes sense it won't carry on doing it all the time it's just updating the database so i'm moving back to the streaming role so when someone goes live this will set them into a live now role like so but this live route now the live now role needs to be at the top of the server or underneath the bots like so this is not currently 100 percent there yet it's not 100 percent working but it will be coming in the future. Guys, this is just a little overall of what I have done to the bot that I am building so far. It will be coming out very, very soon. It's not out just yet. I still need to do some refining on it and testing and everything else. I have put it into a few different servers at the moment just so we can have a test to see how it runs. But please do join the Discord down below and get involved and tell me different features that you may want to see in this bot that's going to be bigger than me six guys thank you for watching smash that like button smash that subscribe button and guys i'll catch you all on the next one